each r nineteen thirteen local law enforcement hate crimes prevention act of two thousand and nine by the united states house of representatives this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org h r nineteen thirteen r f s one hundred and eleventh congress first session h r nineteen thirteen in the senate of the united states april thirty two thousand and nine received read twice and referred to the committee on the judiciary an act to provide federal assistance to states local jurisdictions and indian tribes to prosecute hate crimes and for other purposes be it enacted by the senate and house of representatives of the united states of america in congress assembled section one short title this act may be cited as the local law enforcement hate crimes prevention act of two thousand and nine section two definition of hate crime in this act one the term crime of violence has the meaning given that term in section sixteen title eighteen united states code two the term hate crime has the meaning given such term in section two eight zero 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 three a of the violent crime control and law enforcement act of nineteen ninety four twenty eight united states code nine ninety four note and three the term local means a county city town township parish village or other general purpose political subdivision of a state section three support for criminal investigations and prosecutions by state local and tribal law enforcement officials a assistance other than financial assistance one in general at the request of a state local or tribal law enforcement agency the attorney general may provide technical forensic prosecutorial or any other form of assistance in the criminal investigation or prosecution of any crime that a constitutes a crime of violence b constitutes a felony under the state local or tribal laws and c is motivated by prejudice based on the actual or perceived race color religion national origin gender sexual orientation gender identity or disability of the victim or is a violation of the state local or tribal hate crime laws two priority in providing assistance under paragraph one the attorney general shall give priority to crimes committed by offenders who have committed crimes in more than one state and to rural jurisdictions that have difficulty covering the extraordinary expenses relating to the investigation or prosecution of the crime b grants one in general the attorney general may award grants to state local and tribal law enforcement agencies for extraordinary expenses associated with the investigation and prosecution of hate crimes two office of justice programs in implementing the grant program under this subsection the office of justice program shall work closely with grantees to ensure that the concerns and needs of all affected parties including community groups and schools colleges and universities are addressed through the local infrastructure developed under the grants three application a in general each state local or tribal law enforcement agency that desires a grant under this subsection shall submit an application to the attorney general at such time in such manner and accompanied by or containing such information as the attorney general shall reasonably require b date for submission application submitted pursuant to subparagraph a shall be submitted during the sixty-day period beginning on a date that the attorney general shall prescribe c requirements 
a state local or tribal law enforcement agency applying for a grant under this subsection shall one describe the extraordinary purposes for which the grant is needed two certify that the state local government or indian tribe lacks the resources necessary to investigate or prosecute the hate crime three demonstrate that in developing a plan to implement the grant the state local or tribal law enforcement agency has consulted and coordinated with non-profit non-governmental violence recovery service programs that have experience in providing services to victims of hate crimes and four certify that any federal funds received under this subsection shall be used to supplement not supplant non-federal funds that would otherwise be available for activities funded under this subsection four deadline an application for a grant under this subsection shall be approved or denied by the attorney general not later than one hundred and eighty business days after the date on which the attorney general receives the application five grant amount a grant under this subsection shall not exceed one hundred thousand dollars for any single jurisdiction in any one year period six report not later than december thirty first two thousand eleven the attorney general shall submit to congress a report describing the application submitted for grants under this subsection the award of such grants and the purposes for which the grant amounts were expended seven authorization of appropriations there is authorized to be appropriated to carry out this subsection five million dollars for each of fiscal years two thousand ten and two thousand eleven section four grant program a authority to award grants the office of justice programs or the department of justice may award grants in accordance with such regulations as the attorney general may prescribe to state local or tribal programs designed to combat hate crimes committed by juveniles including programs to train local law enforcement officers in identifying investigating prosecuting and preventing hate crimes b authorization of appropriations there are authorized to be appropriated such sums as may be necessary to carry out this section section five authorization for additional personnel to assist state local and tribal law enforcement there are authorized to be appropriated to the department of justice including the community relations service for fiscal years two thousand ten two thousand eleven and two thousand twelve such sums as are necessary to increase the number of personnel to prevent and respond to alleged violations of section two forty nine of title eighteen united states code as added by section seven of this act section six prohibition of certain hate crime acts a in general chapter thirteen of title eighteen united states code is amended by adding at the end the following section two forty nine hate crime acts a in general one offenses involving actual or perceived race color religion or national origin whoever whether or not acting under color of law willfully causes bodily injury to any person or through the use of fire a firearm a dangerous weapon or an explosive or incendiary device attempts to cause bodily injury to any person because of the actual or perceived race color religion or national origin of any person a shall be imprisoned not more than ten years fined in accordance with this title or both and b shall be imprisoned for any term of years or for life fined in accordance with this title or both if one death results from the offense or two the offense includes kidnapping or an attempt to kidnap aggravated sexual abuse or an attempt to commit aggravated sexual abuse 
or an attempt to kill. 2. Offenses involving actual or perceived religion, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability. A. In general, whoever, whether or not acting under color of law, in any circumstance described in subparagraph B, willfully causes bodily injury to any person, or, through the use of fire, a firearm, a dangerous weapon, or an explosive or incendiary device, attempts to cause bodily injury to any person because of the actual or perceived religion, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability of any person, one, shall be imprisoned not more than ten years, fined in accordance with this title, or both, and two, shall be imprisoned for any term of years, or for life, find in accordance with this title or both if one death results from the offense or two the offense includes kidnapping or an attempt to kidnap aggravated sexual abuse or an attempt to commit aggravated sexual abuse or an attempt to kill b circumstances described for purposes of subparagraph a these circumstances described in this subparagraph are that 1. The conduct described in subparagraph A occurs during the course of or as a result of travel of the defendant or the victim. 1. Across a state line or national border or 2. Using a channel, facility, or instrumentality of interstate or foreign commerce. 2. The defendant uses a channel, facility, or instrumentality of interstate or foreign commerce in connection with the conduct described in subparagraph A. 3. In connection with the conduct described in subparagraph A, the defendant employs a firearm, explosive, or incendiary device, or other weapon that has traveled in interstate or foreign commerce, or four the conduct described in subparagraph a one interferes with commercial or other economic activity in which the victim is engaged at the time of the conduct or two otherwise affects interstate or foreign commerce three additional federal nexus for offense whoever in special maritime or territorial jurisdiction of the united states or in indian country engages in conduct described in paragraph one or in paragraph two a without regard to whether that conduct occurred in a circumstance described in paragraph two b shall be subject to the same penalties as those provided for offenses under those paragraphs b certification requirement no prosecution of any offense described in this subsection may be undertaken by the United States except under the certification in writing of the Attorney General, the Deputy Attorney General, the Associate Attorney General, or any Assistant Attorney General specially designated by the Attorney General that 1. Such certifying individual has reasonable cause to believe that the actual or perceived race, color, religion, national origin, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability of any person was a motivating factor underlying the alleged conduct of the defendant. And two, such certifying individual has consulted with state or local law enforcement officials regarding prosecution and determined that a the state does not have jurisdiction or does not intend to exercise jurisdiction. B. The state has requested that the federal government assume jurisdiction. C. The state does not object to the federal government assuming jurisdiction. Or D. The verdict or sentence obtained pursuant to state charges left demonstratively unvindicated 
the federal interest in eradicating bias motivated violence c definitions one in this section a the term explosive or incendiary device has the meaning given such term in section two thirty two of this title b the term firearm has the meaning given such term in section nine twenty one a of this title and c the term state includes the district of columbia puerto rico and any other territory or possession of the united states two for the purposes of this chapter the term gender identity means actual or perceived gender related characteristics d statute of limitations one offenses not resulting in death except as provided in paragraph two no person shall be prosecuted tried or punished for any offense under this section unless the indictment for such offense is found or the information for such offense is instituted not later than seven years after the date on which the offense was committed two death resulting offenses an indictment or information alleging that an offense under this section resulted in death may be found or instituted at any time without limitation e rule of evidence in a prosecution for an offense under this section evidence of expression or associations of the defendant may not be introduced as substantive evidence at trial unless the evidence specifically relates to that offense however nothing in this section affects the rules of evidence governing impeachment of a witness b technical and conforming amendment the table of sections at the beginning of chapter thirteen of title eighteen united states code is amended by adding at the end the following new item two forty nine hate crime acts section seven severability if any provision of this act an amendment made by this act or the application of such provision or amendment to any person or circumstance is held to be unconstitutional the remainder of this act the amendments made by this act and the application of the provision of such to any persons or circumstance shall not be affected thereby section eight rule of construction nothing in this act or the amendments made by this act shall be construed to prohibit any expressive conduct protected from legal prohibition by or any activities protected by the constitution pass house of representatives april twenty ninth two thousand and nine attest clerk end of each r nineteen thirteen Local Law Enforcement Hate Crimes Prevention Act of 2009 by the United States House of Representatives Recorded by Craig Campbell in Appleton, Wisconsin in 2009